Hello everyone. So I'm here today with brother Jesse back here. So I am, um, we've seen the videos where people make dream cakes for kids and whatnot. But what about us adults? We, everyone forgets about the adults. And I, Jesse always critiques my baking with ways to improve it. Not a bit, in, not a bad way. It's like constructive criticism, isn't it? Mm. Giving me ways to improve. We'll call it that. We'll call it that. I am going to make you your dream cake and see if I nail it. Mm -hmm. So I've got my iPad to do like the flavours and draw it. Um, because I don't know if you're going for like a special style or... I do like a red velvet. Do you? Mm, I love a red velvet. I've never made you red velvet. <laughs> and just a good chocolate. Chocolatey. But not, is too, there... not too rich, but just chocolate chips and nuts in there. So you want... What one do you think would be your dream cake? What would be like, oh... It depends on the mood, doesn't it? What mood are you in today? I mean, red velvet's red velvet. You can't change it. Now that sounds like a challenge for someone who wants to be a product developer. Jesse, you've given me some some ideas in here. But chocolate, I'm so Jesse's always saying whenever I make something chocolate, he's like orange with nuts and white chocolate. So we could do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which I, I like think is a chocolate. bit weird. Orange, white chocolate, and nuts, but no, orange, white chocolate. The nuts don't have to be in there, but I like a bit. Do you of want nuts? I could do toast. For that nuts one, maybe too. not. Okay, so you want orange white chocolate with normal chocolate. Yeah, but I want to get it like your dream cake. How many... How many when you're saying dream cake, I'm literally thinking of like Chucky Wucky Doodah. Well, I can't do that. With like, just this, you just come in with this like clock, <laughs> clock size cake. Well, obviously not. I just need like a lip... Like a, a your dream a homemade dream. cake. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm not going for tears. Tears would just you know, be No, like, I mean, far. you know, for your birthday, made a 40. Just like cake. A cake. Okay, cake? Just cake. And do you just want buttercream? Do you want ganache? Do you want what flavour of buttercream do you want? Do you Why are you doing it like that? What were you thinking? Just a cake. Is that his cake? That's no, cake. cake. Icing. Just one layer? Okay. Yeah, yeah like that. Yeah, and then just icing That's going to be hard to That's eat. like a birthday cake, isn't it? No, birthday cakes always have layers. What if it's easier, you can do two. No, I want your dream. So you want a big fat one, buttercream. Do you want a glaze on I top of buttercream? buttercream? Oh, what do you say? Icing. I don't, I don't really know what one falls into what category. In it. Yeah, in it you want white choc. White choc chips. I don't think nuts would go with this one, to be fair. Okay, you sure? And then you want some That's orange. pretty much it, isn't it? Orange flavouring. No, not orange flavouring. Okay. It either but has you don't to be want orange. orange white chocolate chips. Not orange chocolate chips. It all started from the day that I got, I think it was a... Jesse's dairy free for the most part, so I actually couldn't find any orange white chocolate that he was so adamant that he wanted so if anyone knows any orange white chocolate that is dairy free then hook me up because jesse has been banging on about a dairy free chocolate orange cake for so long okay decorations it's not really me is it i just eat it how many of you don't want layers this really shocked me i don't like it to be broken up oh goodness i've never made one like that so you must always be like oh go to test sainsbury's now and get some bits dairy free oh, some, yeah it's going to be dairy free obviously so the recipe i'm using is linked down below it's from olive magazine and jesse and i are actually discussing it and he realized he wanted a subtle nuttiness so i've gone for ground almonds instead um i've got all the ingredients and we're just gonna mix it up i don't feel like you really need a tutorial on how to mix the cake but I'm just going to mix it away. That is the eggs, butter and sugar. Now we're going to sieve in the cocoa powder, plain flour and baking powder. The white chocolate's going in. We love the white chocolate. They weren't chips, so I'm just using buttons that I've broken up a bit. That. Okay, so now we are adding our melted chocolate. Also, I'm a bit concerned because our oven's really bad. And obviously, this Jesse wants it to be a one tier cake, but goodness knows, whatever reason. He can be a little bit peculiar sometimes. You know, when people just get things in their head. So, Jesse's got that in his head that he needs it to be one tier. The cake smells very rich and decadent, but here it is. So, fingers crossed this goes well. I really pray that it goes well. Okay, I've tied it up, and now I'm making the ganache. For the ganache, you melt the marge and chocolate on the hob um, and then you sieve your icing sugar, get it sieved and ready because you don't want to be faffing around. 
and then you need four tablespoons of milk. But do this, melt it so gently, because otherwise you're gonna have some burnt chalk. And no one wants burnt chalk. Who wants burnt chocolate? It burns so easily, you think it's fine, and then it's not. Guys, you were, this looks so, look how silky and glossy she is. So now what we do, we add in the icing sugar off the heat. Come on, tap that. And then we add four tablespoons of milk. Please bring it back, this is the soya milk. It looks, can you see how shiny that is? I don't know if you can, but I'm chuffed with that. Absolutely chuffed and chuffed. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it at room temp because I don't like to go too hard. And then I'm gonna tidy it up and then we can assemble when it comes out of the oven. Okay, she is out. Um, it took an hour to bake. It took a very, very long time. And it says it should be fudgy. She's out, boys and girls, but she's not as tall as I wanted. Okay, so this is my decorations. I have dipped some pretzels in chocolate, some marshmallows in chocolate, some Oreos in chocolate, and I made this like bar with all the leftover chocolate. I've got fries, chocolate bars, marshmallows, more white chocolate, buttons, all that jazz. So I haven't got any buttercream, so I'm just gonna have to hope that when I jab things in, they're gonna stay in the right place. So, and also, because it hasn't got a lot of height. Okay, everyone. Are we ready to ganache this mother sucker? Scooch this around, make sure it's all nice on there. And this bit really wasn't interesting because it was just me faffing around, putting the decorations on. So I decided to fast forward it because I was so concentrating that I didn't say anything for the whole time I was filming. Get your ducks in a row. Hi. So the I somehow need to transport this cake onto this. It's gonna be uh, interesting, so. so. Here is the cake. This is how, how thick she is, and this is the toppings. Uh, everything keeps falling though, I'm not gonna lie, because I haven't used buttercream to keep it in place, so it's not, it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but it's on the inside that matters. <laughs> what if it was like raw? It's raw. I'm not even filming. This is mine. Oh, where's all the white chocolate at? Okay, so I don't recommend the white chocolate from Tesco's if you're using it in baking. It basically just melts into anything. And I think this happened last time I tried to make some cookies with it. It just melts. It doesn't hold its shape. It's so annoying. Dense. Blah, blah, blah. It's because it has ground almonds in it, maybe. Oh. Not that big. I'm just getting a marshmallow for you. I know you like marshmallows. Looks more like a fudge cake. Yeah, I think it may be. We've had the cake and it's uh let's say it's a fail. It's a little but it's fine because we can try this video again. It's a seven out of ten heated. It's more of like a, a chocolate fudge cake. Um clearly we've still demolished it here in the booth family. And it, it's good with like some ice cream. For next time when I re try and recreate the dream cake. Less dense because I used a fudge recipe. So I didn't use like a sponge recipe, I used a chocolate fudge cake. So, whoopsie. That was a heavy hit off. <laughs> Especially after a fat burger. It's a bit more spongy. Lighter so, area. And more milky. It's hard to it's achieve when it's dairy free. I thought it was too dark for you. No, I think it would have been dark if I'd had all the bits with it on top. Okay, so maybe we'll try this again and maybe we'll have Dad's dream cake. I said I'll cook you a cake. <laughs> Jesse said he'll do me my dream cake. Yeah. I'm a good oh, chef. Oh, Jesse cooking! <laughs> Why are you all acting like I don't cook? Actually, yeah, it would be this oh, one never right here. Cake. It would take. He used year. to make flapjack back in year six or something. I bake. I've I never cooked. seen you make a cake. Flapjack. He did I've used to make flapjack. To make a cake. Actually, yeah, I don't think I've ever cooked cake by myself. Thank I've you. <laughs> I just said. I have helped you guys cook cakes. When have you ever helped us cook a cake? Like the day when we were like, oh, shall we all make the perfect little cake, your siblings? Right. I'm We've go. never made a cake. Off. We'll give this another go. Thanks very much for watching, and I shall see you later. <laughs> like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Quick little debrief, so obviously that was a fail, and I wasn't gonna post this, but then you guys are always like, post the videos anyway, even if they are a fail, um, so I'm posting it anyway. So technically, 
I didn't make his dream cake, but we're learning things. I'm not going to get it on the first time. This is what baking is all about. It's all about trial and error. Never give up on your first time. To be honest, that's what life's about. Never give up on your first time. Keep going. Keep pushing through. You've got this. Life's going to get better. It's going to get better. Anyway, peace. Love you all. Loads.